I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about why cigarette sponsorship in advertising in racing and motorsports is basically dead, and why it died. Today, I'm going to be smoking a little bit of a basic Red 100, enjoying that with y'all, and talking a little bit about why, as said, there's no more cigarette marketing and racing and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I think without further ado though, let's go ahead and get one of these out and let's go ahead, get it lit up and start talking, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it, yes sir, yes sir. <sighs> Basically, the easy reason, the easy reason for the majority of motorsports like NASCAR, F1, anything MotoGP kind of thing, the majority of motorsports basically banned uh, smoking advertisements and smoking sponsorships, except for one exception kind of thing. And they, they did this because of pressure from anti-smoking campaigns and stuff like that. That's to be expected kind of thing. NASCAR banned um, uh, smoking advertisements and smoking sponsorships in 2010 due to the Family Smoking Prevention Act um, by the FDA. And most races uh, entered cigarette sponsorship in the early to mid 2000s, NASCAR was a pretty much, pretty much a uh, a pretty late adopter. I got to be completely frank. But there is one exception that I actually have already mentioned previously in this video, and I do apologize if I tricked y'all. The exception is F1. So. Basically, F1 has been avoiding an overall ban since the 1990s. People have been demanding an overall ban for F1 since the, oh, since, the, since the 90s kind of thing, but there has just been loophole after loophole after loophole, which is not really a surprise because about 10% of uh, F1's marketing and stuff like that, or like sponsorship and stuff like that for teams is from cigarette sponsorships kind of thing. Over $100 million a year is from cigarette sponsorships, which is just absolutely, absolutely insane if you ask me. It's, it's such a huge amount of money, I can't even imagine seeing that kind of thing. <sighs> However, even though there wasn't an overall ban in F1, the, 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 the team still had to uh, go with if they, whatever racetrack they were on kind of thing, whatever racetrack they were racing on, whatever country they were in, they still had to abide by those laws. But for F1 as a whole, there were no really big laws kind of thing until 2006. In 2006, cigarette advertising was banned, but sponsorship was not. Now you guys might be wondering, what's the difference? Well, basically, this just means that it's just another giant loophole. It's just another giant loophole. Now it just means that you can't put the name of the cigarette brand on there. Like, let's say, with, the, with Ferrari's F1 team, you couldn't put Marlboro on there anymore because Marlboro was a longtime sponsor and still is of the Ferrari team. Um, same with uh, uh, McLaren, which uh, that was British American ta Tobacco. They could no longer put British American Tobacco on there, but they could put other stuff on there or they could do something else or they could just continue sponsoring without putting anything on the car overall. But it was mainly used as a loophole. The loophole and teams got around this in some very, very funny ways. And I'm gonna have some sources in the description down below. Go check those out, of course, because there are some very interesting sources and this information is very interesting in my opinion. Some of the loopholes they got around and, and how they actually continued sponsoring this stuff even after the rule change was by changing the livery of the car to match the brand colors. They just um, like blocked the logo out or they just put the logo kind of thing without the text they would do parodies so basically one car just had question marks where it would usually be so everybody knew what they were talking about which is just so funny to me I think that's just the most hilarious thing in the world that they just put question marks where the uh, cigarette advertising would usually be on the wing I just think that's the most hilarious thing in the world I gotta be completely honest with y'all you know what I'm saying it's just like the funniest thing in the world to me you know what I'm saying and those are just some of the loopholes. That's not even all of them. There's gonna be a resource down below with the like top five loopholes or whatever. I think it's pretty funny, you know what I'm saying? Um, some teams, however, have gotten in trouble. Some teams have gotten in trouble in recent years because they continued accepting sponsorship money from Marlboro and British American Tobacco. And basically what happened is since Marlboro and British American Tobacco are now starting to get into the vape market, they started putting vape initiatives on the side of their cars. Um, one of these examples is Mission Winnow, which is basically a, a uh, vape initiative um, uh, sponsored by Philip Morris, and A Better Tomorrow, which is a British American tobacco who owns RJ Reynolds, um, that is their vape initiative as well. And both of these companies got in trouble for this, which is very amusing to me, which is very amusing to me, I gotta be completely honest, because there was very, very little coverage that views got put on the side of a McLaren 
I can't say it right now. I'm mixing my words up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There was a views advertisement on the side of a McLaren F1 car, and that got very little news coverage, even though, like, a year or two ago, this was considered very controversial, putting Mission Winnow and A Better Tomorrow on the side of these cars was considered very, very controversial. Putting views on the side of a car is not considered very controversial, which I find very amusing, even though it is just sponsored by RJ Reynolds, which, of course, is owned by British American Tobacco. I do find this very, very amusing, but it is very odd that it was not covered nearly as much as these other ones, but maybe I'm missing some part of the story. I didn't really pay attention to the story at that time. I just found out about it today, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about y'all, about it with y'all, you know what I'm saying? What's my opinion on this though? Should cigarette advertising have been banned from F1 and sports as a whole? Well, I suppose the simple answer is to me as a cigarette smoker, no. I don't really think it should have. I love seeing cigarette advertising especially as a marketing major, I think it's super, super interesting, and I love, I absolutely love seeing it, you know what I'm saying? I absolutely love seeing it. Um, and as I said, I'm gonna have all the sources to the resources I used in the comments down, or in the description down below. Go check those out. Uh, fact check me, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? But basically, I just think it's absolutely hilarious. I just think it's absolutely hilarious how these companies did this and how they managed to get around all these different like loopholes and rules and all that sort of stuff. I think it's very, very amusing. There's a couple of examples of teams having an ad on one side of the car and then they have to cover it up for the next race because the next country they're going to didn't allow that sort of advertising kind of thing. And I just think that's hilarious. I just think that's absolutely hilarious and I love it. But my overall opinion is that, well, I wish we could still see cigarette marketing in racing and in motorsport as a whole, but it is understandable. It is understandable why not, because, well, smoking and vaping and all of that sort of stuff is not very cool. It's uh, it's uh, pretty dangerous, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Smoking a cigarette is very dangerous. As you guys can tell, I am dying right now. Um, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I am dying right now because I'm smoking this, you know what I'm saying? But, but I would absolutely love, I would absolutely love to see cigarette marketing in racing and stuff like that again because I wasn't really alive during the era, the, the prime era, the 1970s to the 1990s, the prime era of cigarette marketing in sports and I never got to saw it, see it in person and I wish, I absolutely wish I could have and I just think that would have been like the coolest thing ever, uh, excuse me, but sadly I wasn't alive during that era so it never happened and that's a, that's a shame, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, that's a shame, but it is what it is, it is what it is, I just think it's so absolutely funny. how these teams got around all these loopholes and all of that sort of stuff. I just think it's absolutely, absolutely hilarious and I absolutely love that there were just so many loopholes and now F1 has just absolutely refused to flat out ban cigarette sponsorships. They ban, they might have banned the advertisement themselves, but that just leaves it open to so many loopholes that give the same point across and actually make light of it, which I find absolutely, absolutely hilarious. And I do apologize if there's any wind noise or anything. There's a little bit of a breeze coming through here right now, so I do apologize, y'all know what I'm saying. But I just think it's absolutely hilarious, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I just think it's one of the funniest things in the world. And this was one of my favorite topics to research. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I put a, a little bit of research into this topic, of course, because I gotta make sure I get all my facts right, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I get all my facts right. And this was probably one of my favorite things to research and talk to y'all about, just because it's so funny. It's so funny, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Like, the simple fact that just they, they found all these different loopholes to get through this sort of stuff with is just so funny to me and I absolutely love these companies are just mad lads let me tell you what these companies are just mad lads no complaints though this cigarette is absolutely absolutely fantastic it is a beautiful beautiful day today cannot complain got about an hour till sunset and it is currently like 85 with a slight breeze coming through here no complaints on my behalf no complaints on my behalf it has been an absolutely fantastic day just recharged some ac today and uh basically just been doing research to talk to you guys you know what i'm saying basically just been chilling all day you know what i'm saying this is my first cigarette of the day though i gotta be completely honest and it is currently like se almost seven o'clock so i am running a bit late on my first cigarette of the day but hey no complaints from me no complaints from me you know what i'm saying I think I got one or two more hits left of the cigarette, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those and then I'm gonna go in the video though. Because I pretty much talked about everything I wanna talk about. I do wanna know though, I do wanna know. I am very curious to find out what you guys' opinion is on this sort of stuff. <sighs> so yeah, that's y'all's homework. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna use that joke. That's that's an overused joke, I'm sorry y'all. But 
What is your guys' opinion on this? Should cigarette sponsorship be banned in racing and motorsports and sports as a whole? What do you guys think about that? Should it, should it not be? If it shouldn't be, or if it should be allowed, why? If it shouldn't be allowed, why do you guys think? I'm curious to find out what you guys think, and uh, I will try, of course, to read all of your guys' comments, you know what I'm saying? I think, without further ado, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys, you know what I'm saying? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram and my book in the description down below. I highly recommend you guys check both those out. I have my merch, my book, my Instagram, everything in the description down below, I said. But yeah, until the next one, guys, stay safe and peace, and have a great one, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe out there, y'all.